Hello everyone. So as soon as I walked in, I noticed all of these beautiful boxes. I haven't seen some of these anywhere else. So I thought I'd better share them with you. How cute are these prints? And you can frame these. You can make a beautiful piece of wall art or framed art on a side hutch part of your Christmas decor or something that matches or that you're inspired by or you look just like the print. These are little faux books. Oh, how cute is this? I love it. I really like this side design. So well done. Even the plaid, everything about it is super cute. And there's some other prints up here. a variety of sizes so the back ones are larger than the front ones here there's small ones of these too so cute yeah the large boxes again i hadn't seen these in a while so cute two very different prints which makes it pretty awesome sometimes you need a more formal and informal box Jeez, I can't get this in here. Let's see. One hand. Oh my gosh. So these are the smaller square boxes. And there's a variety of prints, but they have three in each box. So at least they give you a, a little picture on the front. Cute. base is white and then of course the top has a little print. You can cut these out and use them in paper crafts. Okay, I promise I'm almost fin finished sharing the boxes with you, but there's so many new boxes. So I know if you need them, at least then you know what prints are available. And these have been appearing at all the Dollar Trees lately. You can make a full floral box with them. They're cute. These are new to me. So stinking cute. The little print on the side, the back. I wish it was magnetic on the front, but they're well done. I should have worn my GoPro today. I <laughs> used two hands. It's hard to share these boxes with one hand. This one has a pine cone. Flat on the side. Cute little tree. Flat on the side. Oh, the little gnomes and the camper on the front. Very cute. I'm afraid to touch this, this display. It's already kind of... Some more that go here. Okay, so this is a little red truck. We saw that in... The other Dollar Tree the other night. Some of you are asking about the snowflake plates and the skew. If you need, you can maybe take a screenshot here. Hopefully that helps. And then they also have the dessert plates as well. So this is the bowl and then they do have the side plate or dessert plate kind of like this size. So pretty. And these are new to me as well, with the red border. They also have dish, well, sorry, glassware that matches or if you wanted to have like a sort of theme. Some more boxes back here. stockings cute oh cards some of you have been asking because you haven't found cards in your store but i feel like these we've all seen already yeah i think we have i haven't seen anything like oh my gosh i need that print nothing has wowed me this year have you found a cute print that you were really excited about
let's take a look at some of the gift bags that they have here. Some cute new ones to me. I feel like this one is newer. Oh no, we've seen this line with the candy canes and slate. Maybe I just missed the truck. Oh yeah, and we had the little skates as well. This one's pretty. It's got gold foiling. Or not really foiling, but just like, I don't know. It's This one's gold foiling, but yeah, I guess it is gold foiling. I don't know what else to call it. And then there are some pretty bags along the top as well. Stocking, candy cane, and the red truck. Some of the mugs, coffee mugs. This is and these new. I don't think I've spotted them before. They're like an embossed or indented. And the little gnome, the Santa, and there's one last snowman. I bought the snowman. I just think it's so cute, but I want to recut, like I want to paint it and change the color. I'll see if I get around to it. And they have chargers as well here. I keep buying this card because of its the little pop-up pieces. I can use them for die cuts or embellishments, but I don't know if I should. These are pretty. There's two per pack. Last year I found the nicest, such neutral colored bags with some Christmas tree prints on them. They were almost like a, a wood effect and then green trees. I have not found the bags this year and they're so pretty. And some stockings here, so they have the large ones and then the mini ones hanging along the side. Quick overview of the bigger pieces hanging here on the back wall. Oh, and the beautiful bows. Don't forget those. A few ornaments still here as well. And they have some cozy socks. Cute elf and Santa ones. The staff, she's working so hard. There's a few boxes here, so it's hard to get around, but I'll just share with you. She just put these out. All for cookies, I guess, and baking. And lots of baking liners here and little serving plates and such. So I'll let her do her thing and then I'll come back. I feel like some of these cards are new. I haven't really seen these. My great-grandson, these Mickey and Minnie. I have not seen them. Star Wars. Yoda. Baby Yoda. Cute. I like the tops. I like the gold. It's got the foiling with the lights. Well, on the top here is some are the money cards. That's cute. Reminds me of Christopher. Christopher the tree, the Christmas tree. Oh, little puppy sleeping. Oh, I like that one. It didn't have the Santa skiing on it. All right, quick overview here. I know we've seen all this stuff a few times, so lots of people have been finding the wooden gingerbread. There's a tree. I don't know if there's a gingerbread. Oh, yeah, there it is. So they've been doing some really cute makeovers, painting brown, doing the little white details on it. So if that's something you enjoy doing, it's a great craft to sit and, you know, spend a nice evening with a cup of coffee or tea. Little bells here. These almost look like a New Year's disco ball. Maybe use it as decor. Lots of ribbon here, but I'm not going to try to reach up there because... We've seen the Christmas ribbon. Newer things here for crafts or, you know, like little activities. They have the Scrabble game, puzzles. This is new, tool table. And then they have the decorative mesh. And if you're looking for tool, they sometimes have rolls of, oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Tool as well. This one is glittery, but sometimes they have some without glitter. And here's a little roll of ribbon. 
glitter ribbon. This is new to me. I don't think I've ever noticed them having this metallic wrap. These bows are so pretty. So pretty. Cute little boxes as well. Again, you can paint them, repurpose them, make them into your little gingerbread houses. I love these because I pull them apart and use them in my paper crafts as little decals. Sometimes it's hard to find, you know, really nice prints. And Dollar Tree has these beautiful tags that I just repurpose. This one's really glittery. There's a lot of fallout. Lots of boxes here. These ones are cute. I feel like every so often we'll get these little packages. These are new to me. I don't know this line. If anyone else is familiar with it, please feel free to let us know if it's a good makeup brush. They have the little toiletry bags. Cute little things you can add in a stocking stuffer. These are new to me. I've never seen them before. I'm not really sure exactly what they do. Lots of nails, lots of kits here. It looks like somebody's actually gone through them. Pretty colors. Oh, they're all organized. Different cuts too. This is new. I guess to remove gel, gel polish. Lots of nail things here. Even little nail art tools. I need one with a really, really fine, super fine tip, even smaller than that. These look cute. They're gel. They're not like that foam, so I wonder if they work better. Oh, little Ioni nail pieces. Does anyone know why this is curved? Is that for your heel? Lots of new things here with little cases. Always nice to find new items, right? A couple of you said that you really liked the shadow switching sponge. I'm not sure what it looks like or how it works, but I appreciate whenever you anybody give some feedback in the comments below let's take a look at some of the wrapping paper and see if there's a cute Grinch wrap or anything last year I found two types of Grinch this year nothing but there are some Disney I love when Dollar Tree has a variety of wood just because it's easy to work with. It's, I think, a little bit more environmentally friendly when you do crafts with the wood. So in the long run, I do like that they have these items here for us. These packs are a newer find at Dollar Tree. I just, if anyone knows if we can do sublimation on them, that would be amazing. These are glass little droppers. I'm gonna grab another pack. They're hard to come across. Oh, and some water brush pens. They look nice. These journaling cards, they're also like just little paper kits and stuff. I haven't seen them anymore 
Like they sold at other Dollar Trees and haven't been restocked, so these must just be kicking around. But they're just little paper packs. These I found somewhere else for like $5. What exactly is it? Is it worth $5? Those who love Peanuts, Charlie Brown, I just want you not to miss this little booklet because it's so darling. It has little images, but stickers, that's the, the thing with it. So if you see it and you love it, grab it. So cute. There's the trolls as well and something else. I think Min Mickey. Yeah, but Peanuts is my favorite in here. And then they have some new coloring books and they're really nice. They're thick. I know some of you were looking for some new coloring books for the season. These boxes are so tricky though. Oh, there's some Disney ones. These are actually like thicker than what we normally see. And these are seasonal holiday dreams. Oh my gosh, the box is gonna fall. I'm gonna have a big mess here. Nomies. Oh, <laughs> stickers for little faces. That's a cute little activity too. And then they have the word search and the Christmas theme. A quick look at cards. I'm actually looking for some nice cards, so I thought I'd just share with you. It's not something I feel like looking a lot, but dad cards, husband, they have every card. Christmas, birthdays, all sorts of cards. I actually am looking for a birthday card, so there were some. Need to grab a one. Yay, because the other day they just had gold. So this is perfect. And I gotta get a Chris uh I have to get a birthday card. Oh, that's cute print. Anyways, so there's a few options. Oh, this one I like. I've used that one before. <laughs> That's cute. These are new. I haven't seen these. They have silver ones. They, if they were just a little bit different gold, well, they're fun though. You can put them with a candle. They have the little wood. The wood frames. If you can use them as table number frames. Well, this belongs in the Christmas, Christmas section. And they have these with the little polka dots, silver and gold. Oh, this is new, it's for the baby bump game. <laughs> it's cute. And they have a little measuring tool. a variety of bags here but somebody was asking if I had seen a matte like shiny gold or green no red or green bag just like this I'm going to share with you but it does, does not have the holographic in it so it's just a matte and these are the ones aren't they so pretty so yeah my store has them I'm happy to share that they are here so hopefully you find them at your store. I'm not sure if this helps. Anyways. Some party bags here as well. These glasses are at the very back of the store on an end cap that they have here. Sometimes there's Christmas themed ones, of course, but you don't need to have a Christmas themed mug. You can just go with a plain one. This way you can use it all year round. These are so heavy and big. I don't typically see the marble print dishware, 
So they have the bowls here and the plates along the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that there are mugs as well. By the way, the clear glassware or dishware, I should say, is quite nice. These are pretty, these are new, aren't they? I don't think I've ever seen them before. From afar, these actually look like glass, but they're plastic. Which one do you like better? They have two colors. I think I like the darker one better. Has anyone tried these knitting tools and have they held up? Well, I think they would. They look pretty good. There's some plushy little material here, really small squares. This velvety uh, yarn is so beautiful and they have a few colors too. So you can wrap them around something. Oh, I've always wondered. I never take mine apart. I haven't unrolled mine. This is how large they are. Tricky here with one hand. The actual spring summer line that they have right now, it's almost like a flannel material, is really pretty. They had some with little deer, a little, little rabbit, I think, and a fox. These are cute too. I've seen some ornaments made similar to that print, not from Dollar Tree, but something that was already made. These are great for staging pictures. This is a um, package of tulle, and there's only pink so far that I've seen. If you see any other colors, please let me know. I feel like this might be part of the spring line with the ladybugs. Some floral. I have to say that every year Dollar Tree really steps up with some of their beautiful tins, and the pricing, I have to say, is the most reasonable compared to a lot of other locations. I still try to find the gel glue. This glue works well, but I still try to find... This one's pretty good too with the little brush. Has anyone tried this door insulation kit? It comes with a roll in here. I'm just not sure if it's good quality. They have safety goggles. They have two kinds. These ones here. Good for, I guess, when you're doing like cutting of bushes and stuff, so you're, I poke my eye all the time. These are interesting. They almost, I think they're really large. They're even larger than the Ziploc bags, I think, that are the really large ones, which is great for storing paper and, you know, craft stuff. If you need to send out any packages, these boxes are new here and they're, you know, about the right uh, width to send out a packaged a mailed package. By the way, has anyone tried these transparent sticky notes and are they truly transparent? I don't know, should I buy them? Have you noticed that the Westcott scissors are not made like they used to be? Even the plastic is so flimsy. I find the Jot ones are a better quality, much better quality these days. If you have a student in your life, stocking stuffers like these are always great and they're brand name. They have some jot ones too and they work just as great, but just if you're needing little things, it doesn't always have to be extravagant. Here are some really nice new things for your little ones, for your little fur babies. So there's dog toys made by Kisses and Hershey's. There's the Reese's one as well, which I think sold the fastest. This was probably the most popular one. Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing long sleeve and this is a button shirt. How awesome is that? This is way better priced than even going to a secondhand store. Super cute has a zip, 
quarter zip and a hoodie. They have reusable bags here for Christmas in a really random section of the store, but they are here. Let's take a quick peek at the gift wrap. I've been looking for Grinch or cute gingerbread theme. Last year, this Tiss the Season actually said Merry Christmas. There's Huggies here. I know there's some good quality ones out there right now. Little baby things. I spotted some new things, by the way. Here's the soft scrubber. And I had found like a little mold, like popsicle mold or something. I can't remember exactly what it was at the time. These are newer. I think it's part of their little TV show or something. Oh, anime dolls. Cute. So if your kids are into anime, this is um, Miraculous. I think it's a TV show. It's a little kit and it has some things to do in it. I mean, oh, Mr. Potato Head is expensive everywhere else. I find it's like three times the price of here. And these are pretty cool because they're all Thomas the Engine and they're really tiny miniatures. I need to show how see the little faces? How cute are they? These are actually really nice quality. I think they're newer at Dollar Tree. Wild creatures. Is this a brand? They've added to their collection. You can see some new faces here, which are cute. Oh my gosh, these are back. They were gone for a while. By the way, if you um, need furniture for your elf on the shelf, this is a great time to purchase it. A little tub, you can have a bubble bath. How stinking cute. Oh, they have a harmonica. Is it new? I feel like I've never seen them here before. Oh, wow. There's some new stuff here. Room spray. Fancy. Looks like I've never seen this before. I think these are like room scents, I guess. There's pine, pumpkin, and the little pearls. Oh, these are new too. We'll just take a quick look at some of the cleaning products here. There's Cascade Wizard dish detergent. I wanted to take a look at the tools, but before I go there, let's just take a look here. There's scrubbing bubbles, refill, Vim. I keep looking for a toilet bowl cleaner. Not this one here, although is this one good? I've never used tank cleaner before. Oh my goodness. And what's this one like? This is a new brand that I find now, the Vair. I don't even know how to pronounce it, V-E-H-R. These are so thin. This is a pretty good value, the Valida scrubs. Some more by Valida, so they have the really abrasive scrubber. This one here, see? And the other one was softer. I found new SOS sponges. Oh, here. Heavy duty. Has anyone tried them? It's a little pricey for one sponge. What else do they have here? Still looking for unscented small garbage bags, or actually I use them in the bathrooms, but no such luck. 
up top you see the big boxes of Mr. Noodles. Here's some. So they have these. They're really large. They're the bowl. Then they have Mr. Noodles cup, which is pretty cool. And I think it's less expensive than buying it anywhere else because I feel like everywhere else is charging a bit more. This is new to me. I've never seen this one. Depending on locations, I find some Dollar Trees have a little bit more variety in food than others. I do notice that depending on where I go. I only found the dehydrated vegetables at one location. I have not found it at any other Dollar Trees. Has anyone else found the dehydrated vegetables? Soup mix, I guess. Well, no, it's dehydrated vegetables because... Uh, the soup mix is different. Some sauces here. You know, the standard stuff that we normally see. These I've seen and then they disappeared completely from the other Dollar Trees I visit. Oh, I'm going to see if I grab shepherd's pie because I was making a couple. I think the price is about the same as if I purchased it at the grocery store. Do you know if you have, like, if you have a shepherd's pie mix of uh, ingredients or spices, do you mind sharing that with me? Because some spices I can, like, some seasoning I just make my own sauces, but shepherd's pie is one that I haven't. These are cute mini tarts if you're baking for Christmas. Did you see in the previous walkthrough, I found a little gingerbread sprinkles and they're so freaking cute, but I don't see any here. Either they sold out or they didn't get them. And these ones don't have them. They have little presents. Okay, we'll walk down the toiletry section. This is new to me. Aloe vera cream. Have not seen this before. Is um, this brand? Is this a, the Be Pure? Is it? Does it belong to Dollar Tree? I keep seeing more and more goodies by them. Shower cap. It's very, very glittery. Oh yes, it's reusable, so that's a good thing. They have these new satin, well, yeah, no, what do you call it, yeah, satin pillows. They're not silk, but they are satin, so, pillowcase, I should say. Oh, these are back, I haven't seen them in a long time. If you wanted to put together a spa basket or gift basket, it's really easy to gather some cute things here. I'm not sure about putting a bubble bath in there or a bath bomb because people are sensitive, but you know, like, there are some nice things that you can put together. Things that they can use. These are new. I think this is part of the Valentine's Day line, like all of these things here. I feel like they belong to Valentine's Day. So they have the satin pillowcase and then they have this little head wrap piece. Lots of headbands. If you wanted to put that in part of a gift, you can pick a cute one, like a soft one like this or something like this, where if they need to do their face cleaning and washing at night, they can use this in their, just to pull back their hair. Lots of options here. Some fun eye candy ones. I love these. If they were black, I'd buy some. They're just so plushy and they look cozy after, you know, you have your bedtime routine. Just toss your hair up. By the way, has anyone seen these little Hello Kitty clips? They're even cute for paper crafting. Well, here's a line from Scoonsie. Again, if they had black, this would totally 
could be coming home with me because I think their stuff is amazing quality. It washes well. It lasts a long time. Lately, I've been using hair clips. I actually need some... I think I need like the flatter ones for when I'm styling my hair and need to pin back. I'm going through the craft section because I actually was hoping to see if they have some goodies. But look, they have glue. They have the glitter packages with the variety. The silver, the gold. These are soft beads. And then they have the wood beads as well. I know a lot of you have been looking for beads, so they have quite a good selection. The tiny little clothespins if you're doing any type of embellishment making and you need clips. And then they have some of the small plain glue sticks down here, which these you can paint over if you don't like the gold shimmer effect on them. In these two, easy to paint over. I should grab my daughter a pack of these. She's always losing the back of her little earrings. And it's not like she wears them for a long time because unfortunately she can't. She can only wear her real earrings. And then if she wants to put like these little glass bottle charms. Does anyone else have sensitivities to like the faux earrings? So I find if she wears little plastic backing, it's better than the faux metal ones beautiful stickers here perfect little hearts for valentine's stars so many nice stickers these are stamps i always call this the teacher's area but they have the Crayola stickers, reward stickers, cards, you know, all the things we normally see here. We'll quickly go through some of the Christmas stuff. Some things that are a bit newer to me. These are plastic. Oh, somebody must have been testing them out. And there's lots of cookie containers i love these i wear one sometimes around christmas time i just think it's so cute they have some headbands and some more containers here by the way these are stackable some people may have not been aware but if you they have a space in the bottom and you just clip them in and then they stay together nice and easy great for a hot cocoa bar like marshmallows hot chocolate you know that kind of stuff Some nice bags here. Just wanted to share with you, these are my favorite, the little stocking with the plaid print. And they're great for holding a gift card and you can customize them. I've shared how to do that on the channel. Beautiful. I like that vintage. This one's really nice too. They have a nice selection of stockings, I think. I've never seen this garland anywhere else, but if you wanted to make an ugly sweater, Christmas sweater, this would be cute. You can just even throw it around your neck, basically like a necklace. There's the gifts, presents, and then some with bells. And it's very light, so not heavy at all. Lots of gift boxes here. I think we've seen them all pretty much. I just wanted to share with you some of the fuzzy socks and hats that I'm seeing and mitts. I always mention this whenever I find the diamond nail file and I truly think that this is one of the best nail files if you do faux nails. Now they do have some other ones here that are obviously not as coarse. The kits I think are great as stocking stuffers. They have some gel toe separators as well that I found at another Dollar Tree. And they have lots of nails. This here is a new find. It is similar to what we used to see but it wasn't made by this company so day in day out is uh really nice i love the look of these brushes because of the little accent pieces here and they're good if you need to dust like 
glitter or something even in your craft room, they don't need to be used for just makeup, right? Lots of e.l.f. product. So we have some new stuff here. The brushes, of course, which we normally see. Do you normally find e.l.f. products at your Dollar Tree? And the Ioni eyelashes are usually on like a little display end cap or in a box display. They have something new here. Crystal lip gloss. They also have this new cuticle oil. Lots of different mascaras and eyeliners, some highlighter sticks, I guess. Try to go slowly through here so you can see everything. are all new to me they're in a box end cap and they're all ioni and here's a shea butter lipstick has anyone tried these this one's glitter glitter as well sparkles i should say such a great variety here Hard to see through the packaging, but I think you can kind of get the idea. I think I called this line of or brand Suave last time, but it is just Suave, right? I don't know. And there's Faith in Nature, and somebody was saying that these are a lot more expensive. I think Walmart carries them. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar, but they're just body wash. I've never seen the brand before. This Dollar Tree actually has a few of these heatless curling headbands. Do you need to buy two? Or does it come with two already in there? Because it says a set. This looks good. Good brand. These are my favorite brand. But they're not feeling like they used to. I always look at stuff like this for the hair. And think of embellishments. Or how can I deconstruct them and use them in my paper crafts. And little bows like this, you can use them in, say you make a little ornament and you need to top it off with a bow, they're already made for you. So Dollar Tree currently has most of the Dollar Trees I've been to have this refill bottle for scrubbing bubbles. You just, if you have another bottle with one of the triggers, that's perfect too. These are new. They're basket labels. So I think you just clip it on the back side and it has little papers already inserted. So you can just change the labels and they just clip on here. So it would kind of look like this. I wonder if they're sturdy. Beautiful gift bags here that I have not seen at any other Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty sure that these are newer. It's interesting that either I just miss them or new ones keep appearing. But there's the red truck. I know some of you are always looking for the red truck. So, oh, and here's another one. There's some more bags here, gift tags, and the metal gift card holders. Any other thing you're using the metal gift card holders for? One snowman left, snowman mug left on the shelf here. This is my favorite. Out of all three, gnome, Santa, and snowman, which one is your favorite? These are such pretty boxes. I found one with a gingerbread, and I immediately purchased it. It looks like it was a hide item because they don't have any left here. This box is really pretty too. We have a three pack here just in case. 
but it's a variety pack of different sizes. Lots of towels still for Christmas here. I'm actually surprised because it's probably because it's kind of hidden here, but a lot of goodies still available. I think these are out for the Valentine's Day collection because they have little hearts and stuff. Yeah, super cute. Oh. There's some more Ioni things. So they have the blending brush, makeup sponge, and they even have, oh, these are the Be Pure. Can't get in there because there's a box here, so. I wanted to share with you, they have these really pretty candles. Has anyone lit them? Do they have a nice throw? They are so nice. They look nice. I just don't know what the quality is like. These are new as well. And they actually have a nice smell. Again, I don't know what the throw is like on them. They have some smaller candle holders here, but they also have large ones sometimes. So just look along the top and you'll find nice thick ones. This is cute. It's like golf themed, maybe Father's Day stuff, but yeah. There's, there's this really pretty candle holder as well. Dollar Tree has been really well stocked with their wreath forms, but this wreath form is really large. You can see it in behind is the small one. This one's the 18 inch one. So if you can find it and you need the large one, this is a really good value. Wow, this star must have been here the whole time and I've just missed it. Or is it new? I don't know. Have you found stars at your local Dollar Trees? I use potpourri. I use a natural one to make a really nice wreath. I shared that on the channel before and it turned out I used the foam, this foam ring here. I'm surprised that this bottle, little twinkle light bottle top is not gone yet for Christmas. This is a really good value here at Dollar Tree. a beautiful end display here with all of their tissue and bags. I love it. I'm still on the hunt for some really pretty birthday ribbon. And this looks like it's from the fall collection, but it's quite pretty. You can almost use it for Christmas too. I'm in the checkout area and these just stood out to me. Great stocking stuffers, blending brushes. I don't know how practical they would be, some shapes here, but they look like fun and they come in a beautiful ornament ball. Little squishies too. I know that's always popular with the kiddos. I'm not sure what this is. Just some fidget stuff, right? And some cute pens with tops. When are we tired of seeing all the Christmas things yet and are moving on to Valentine's? Or shall I still share with you some of the new finds I'm finding here at Dollar Tree? These are all brand new boxes. I have not seen this vintage Santa. I haven't seen any of these gift boxes. The faux wood background, the moody colors with the dark background. And there's so many different shapes and sizes. These I thought, you know, you can even cut them out, fussy cut them and use them as decals. If you like that idea, you can make a card out of them on the white background cards. There's just so many things you can do. These are cute too. What are you using the boxes for? Do you gift anything in them specifically? Put treats in them? Oh, this one's giving me a hard time, but. These are cute for displaying, like on a shelf or side mantle and you're decorating for Christmas. Lots of boxes here if you're gifting clothes. And the tins, like just, I'm so amazed that they have so many ten tins. These are um, nice for pens too. Like if you keep your pens or 
a notepad and pens in your kitchen. You can just put it in here. And it looks neat and tidy, even in a tin like this. Random stuff will fit nice. It doesn't just have to be for cookies, right? I've passed on this one all season long and then now I'm finally caving and I'm wondering should I grab this deeper one because there's two sizes and will I regret it or will I forget completely? I will probably forget, right? I'm completely amazed at how many new boxes and packaging there is. This is a new one to me. It has little, little dogs on it. There's a gnome print, Santa... The more neutral colored ones up top and then the tins are starting to go now like they're starting to sell i think more and more people are baking and so there are less of the larger tins i'll have some crafty material lots of wood the trees are still here the little bows these would be cute added with like a gift card on a card or can do some nice stuff with it. A lot of filler. I was thinking of flocking some of the plastic snowflakes. Take a look at the stationery. I've been pretty lucky lately finding some really nice brand stuff. Do these work nicely? They are dual tipped. But they have some of the Southworth. And these are packages so you can obviously open them up and separate them and gift them to different people because I think they're all lined pages right has anyone opened up a package I bought a few but I haven't opened them because I just thought oh I'll just give out the whole package but I'm now thinking maybe I can open them and make it stretch a little bit more has anyone done the craft paper wrapping style with like a little pine cone or a piece of pine tree I don't know little berry or something these are selling pretty well and you won't find them at all your dollar trees so they're big kits of felt and there are two different packages of colors Oh, these are nice. Celebrate. Really well done. Oh, I love this one. Kind of has a Ray Dunn feel. I have a couple of her gift bags that say wine on them, but I actually like the chairs better. Pretty new bags. And they have some nice choices here. Sometimes some Dollar Trees, the bags are all cleared out. We have a nice selection of boxes and also some filler here, cellophane wrapping, all these things. I took a look in the party area, but I think I want to go down this craft aisle because this store has been getting a lot of new items. Beautiful new twine rolls. Natural jute with the colors, so great for wrapping gifts. The navy is pretty too. They have these tools. Does anyone know what each piece is for? Because this one only comes with two. Lots of paint, glittery paint sorts of craft stuff. Not really seeing anything too new. I have some beads here maybe that I haven't seen before. Are these glass? I don't know. It's hard to tell. They might be. These ones look plastic so it's hard to Hard to tell. Beautiful little gems. Sequins. If 
you need sequins for, or filler for shaker pockets and such or even for ornaments you can make you know, a Christmas ornament using these the glitter too I use the glitter actually for a pillow decal like a DIY Every so often I will take my time looking in this aisle, but it's not somewhere that I spend a lot of time in. Do you like looking at all the tools? This one here has magnet tips, so it's really good in different parts of your house if you need to pick up little pieces of metal. I actually need a level. Do they normally sell these here? Perfect. This is a great package too, because in the craft area, they usually comes with one green and two brown, and I prefer the all brown jute or twine, whatever you want to call it. So what is this? Like a blue and a pink flashlight sort of thing. Lots of packing tape, and the nice thing is they have different colors sometimes. Super glue, still have not found the gel super glue. All right, I'll take a look in the pet section here. There's the Hershey's toy. Cute, right? And they had Reese's pieces as well, but I think that one sells the fastest. This is actually a really great find, um, the tool. So it can get pretty expensive. Now this one has a bit of a white effect on it, but if you can just find, oh, this one's cute. I love using tool in layering effects for my paper crafts. Like if I do embellishments, vinyl paper, that's pretty. It's a very spring-like print. Lots of hand soaps to choose from. This one's a foam. They have a variety of different scents. 